Google has just released a new state-of-the-art image editing model. It's taking the whole world by storm. You can go in, edit images. It can do image generation. Huge major upgrade to the Gemini editing model and just the image models in general. In this video here, we're gonna take a look at the announcement, go over some of the details and see a ton of examples of how we can use the new Nano Banana model. So this is basically just a 2.5 flash image generating model and you can edit images and all these things with it. They call it Google Nano Banana. Pretty fast, cool examples that we're going to take a look at. So let's just jump straight into the product news here from Google. So first of all here we can see, you can reimagine your photos with just a prompt. You can tell it whatever you want to generate with your photos and it's very good at preserving details. So let's say that you have a photo of yourself. I'm going to share an example in just a second, but it acts like preserves my visual appearance and can swap out the background, put me in different settings and even do modifications to me. This is pretty, pretty cool. Like you can use it as an image editing tool. Did Google really kill Photoshop and all these other image editing tools? It's takes significantly less time. Now we're basically just prompting it and it's only going in one direction. Just imagine in two, three years, the models here are only going to get better. It's doing a pretty cool job now. Let's take a look at the article here. So maintain your look as you edit. I just mentioned that. So it's basically just very good at preserving like details about human. So give yourself a costume or location change. I'm going to try out some examples on just like a random photo of myself. You can blend photos together. If you have two reference images you want to put together, you can do that as well. Here, turn multi-turn editing. So you can do iterations going back and forth. If you're doing some visual designs, interior design as they're shown in this example here, like put in different types of objects, swap them out, see how they look. You can also use it for try on examples. So let's say you have a web shop where people can try on clothes. First of all, you just have to, they just upload an image of themselves. You have the product photo and it's going to basically just put that cloth on top of you self before you buy it. These are some pretty cool use cases and you can pretty much do anything that you can imagine that you can do with images and it's going to have a significant impact both now but also in the future when the models are getting even better. So if you want to try it out, you can just go inside AI, Google AI Studio. So here, for example, try Nano Banana. So you just have to generate an image. This is the underlying image model under Google AI Studio. You can also use the API and everything. In here, when I run it, it generate an image of a banana wearing a costume. So this is just the default prompt as if you want to try it out. So a few seconds, 5.7 seconds, it has generated an image of this banana wearing a pirate costume. It's pretty good quality, very high level of details. We even have the blur in the background. It's not like we have a new image generating model which we haven't seen before or the level of detail and all that. It's just all the different tools, all different editing styles that it can do like blend references, preserve human faces and all that. That has been a pretty big problem for the other AI generative image models out there. So this is pretty cool. I'm just going to grab a photo here of myself. So I just took a screenshot of myself before recording this video here. And I want to just throw in some different prompts. We're going to take a look at some other examples as well. But right now, I've just taken a screenshot of myself. Let's try to see what I see you. So edit this image. So the guy is speaking at NVIDIA GTC. Let's try it on. Let's try to see if it understands it, how much it preserves of, of my visual appearance and what type of like second setting and background you can have. But you can throw in multiple images. You can have the references as I showed you inside as well. Let's see here. So this guy here is speaking at NVIDIA GTC. You can do multi-turn iterations and so on to the images. So right now we see I'm standing up. It does a pretty good job at extending the hoodie, even my visual appearance. Maybe changed it slightly, but this looks very good and like very natural. Okay, so let's try one more example. I'm just going to upload the same image. Let's go ahead and try Nano Banana again. Let's upload our image. There we go. Instead of our banana wearing costume. Right now, it's basically like using the 2.5 flash image model. This is just the default in Google AI Studio. Let's say, what, what should we do? What should we do? Um, 
edit this image so the guy is on the beach wearing edit this image so the guy is on the beach wearing a Mexican hat while eating pizza. Let's just go fully crazy here. Let's just try to give it as much detail as possible and say how realistic it comes up with. But it does a pretty good job. Like it can do AI generated content. It can do more like photorealistic stuff. So here we can see that this is actually like a pretty cool one. Even even if I don't have like wax in my hair or like hairstyle or something, it still preserves it pretty nice. I'll maybe look a bit older here. So this uh, the photo itself also looks a bit older. But I'm eating pizza. I'm wearing a Mexican hat. Um, so this is looking pretty good. Um, no, he should be in the C. So I see the multi-turn conversation as well, where you can just iterate on your images. So it gives some results back. You can do another iteration, try to perfect it and so on. So it's not really just a single prompt or generate the image. It really understands what's going on. So now I'm in the water here. We can see it looks, it looks pretty hilarious, but it's just to show how we can do multi-turn conversations, do iterations on the work that you're doing if it doesn't come up with the correct thing in the first go, could be the prompt, could also just be that it full, doesn't fully understand the meaning that you're trying to put into it. Mohammed, that you're probably familiar with from Autolytics, he also tried out a bunch of different cool prompts. So here we have some videos where he's just updating himself, like different background, different settings, like wearing sunglasses, going out for a walk outside during, during daytime. All these things here, you can pretty much do whatever you can imagine with it. Uh, it doesn't have to be a person that you're editing. You can just generate images in general as well. I have different references. The most important thing over other generative AI models for images is basically just it preserves the visual appearance of humans very nice. So this can be used for constant generation products. And if I have to come up with some very cool use case would be virtual try-ons. So instead of having AI models that try to fit the clothes and so on on top of you, we can just have a reference image, our product image, throw it into Gemini API and get the results back. And then we can show a user of that before they're buying a product. This is probably most cool use case. And if you're looking for any products out there, try to set that up. It should be fairly straightforward and it's a very cool use case. Hope you learned on this video here. Make sure you use these generative AI tools, where it's like large language models, VLMs for computer vision stuff, anything out there that can make you more productive. These models can be used for data augmentation, both image generation, video generation with the Google models. We have everything covered on the YouTube video, so check those out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.